When it comes to killing bacteria in our home, many of us reach for the strongest cleaner we can find. Makes sense, but do you really need those heavy duty chemicals to do the job? We decided to find out putting both store bought cleaner and homemade cleaners to the test. Allison Gormley tells us what's the deal. We all want clean homes, but with so many products available, it's hard to know what's effective and easier on your lungs. So we bought some commercial cleaners and bleach as well as ingredients to make our own more natural options. The first solution, equal parts vinegar and distilled water with drops of essential oils for scent. The other, a quarter cup rubbing alcohol, half teaspoon of Castile soap and distilled water. We took the homemade and commercial cleaners to a lab at Indiana University, Indianapolis, to test how well they kill bacteria similar to E. coli and salmonella. We put the bacteria on a hard surface, like your countertop. We then sprayed it with a cleaner and wiped it down to try to get rid of that bacteria. Dr. Jay Vornhagen, an assistant professor of microbiology, and his team then measured how much bacteria was left behind. What they found might surprise you. They were all efficacious in getting rid of this bacteria. His numbers showed each product knocked out more than 99% of the bacteria. However, Dr. Vornhagen said you may want to consider how you're using each product. For example, if you're cleaning kids' toys, pet products, or working your food, vinegar and castile soap are safer to ingest. On the flip side, bleach can also serve a purpose. If you're working with a high contamination surface, like a toilet or maybe a shower, some of those stronger cleaners are definitely appropriate. The team also tested one more product against the bacteria, plain old water. The mechanical action of wetting a surface and wiping it down does a lot of the work to get rid of those bad bacteria. And over 99.99% of those bacteria were removed just by doing that. However, he added that this should not be considered an adequate cleaning method as the bacteria is likely still alive, just moved around. Information to help clear up your next cleanup. So interesting because since 2020, people have been on this whole cleaning kick, mm -hmm. certainly. Um, what about viruses? We're talking about bacteria. Exactly. So they are different, and we did not test viruses in this okay. circumstance because his lab just isn't set up for it. However, he said most of the products should work against viruses because the killing mechanism is the same. Okay. Fascinating. Allison Gormley with the science experiment for us. Mm -hmm. And this is cheaper, too. Love it. There you go. <laughs> if you like Allison's What's the Deal segments, you can catch her show streaming on WTHR+. All you have to do is download the app on Roku, Fire Stick, and Apple TV.